Hi everyone, I'm back with video number two of my uh, beginner's tutorial uh, YouTube channel. Um, today I want to teach you how to make this really pretty, very elegant ankle bracelet. It's very light. It's stretch cord. It has an extender chain on it, so you can make it, you know, whatever length. I kind of made this one a little too big, but it works for me. And I do wear this all summer long. So I'm getting bored with the black, so I thought I'd make myself a clear colored one. So you might want to um, make yourself a couple to go with your outfits. So for this, you're going to need three 8 millimeter rondelles or rounds. You're going to need four 6 millimeter bicones. You're going to need seven 4 millimeter bicones. You're going to need 26 crimp beads, a head pin, two bead cap covers, a lobster claw. This is about a size 10 lobster claw, an extender chain, and a 5 millimeter jump ring. The tools that you're going to need for this project is needle nose pliers, round nose pliers, and cutters. The stretch cord I'm using is 0 0.5 stretch cord. So collect your materials and meet me back here. Okay. All right. I've cut myself, I've, I've wrapped this around my ankle and made sure it fit and gave myself a little bit of extra stretch cord so it's not too short. What you want to do first is cut two pieces of this because you need, you need a big one and you need a small one. You want to string on one crimp bead, one eight millimeter, and one crimp bead. Then you're going to fold this in half so we can get the center of this. So we have the center now. You kind of want to put it between your fingers. because you're going to crimp these beads. First off, you're going to take your needle nose pliers. It doesn't matter if it's right centered, but you want to kind of center that over the, the cord. Center your bead over the cord and give it a squish. Extra squish. You can use a crimper, but I prefer to use these. And then you're going to hold your, you're going to hold this in your hand like this, and you're going to crimp the other one, and you're going to make sure it's centered with the cord, and give it a squish. So this is not going anywhere. There's your first bead on. Now this is to your preference. You can put um, them spaced far apart, minor spaced out, like so. So I'm gonna I'm gonna basically do mine almost exactly the same as this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put on your first crimp bead. Measure out. I've got this about, well, let's say, a good inch and a half from the middle bead. So I'm going to take my crimping pliers, or my needle nose pliers, and I'm going to crimp that bead right there. And give it a good squish. Again, pick up on this side now another crimp bead and 
Now this is going to be the important part. You're going to have to hold your thread like so. Hold your cord and make sure your crimp bead gets crimped evenly. I hold it like so without stretching it and that's where it's got to go and that's where I'm going to crimp it so it's even. And we'll give it another good squish. There. So this is the outside one. So this is the bigger one I'm making. So now you want to stick a four millimeter bicone on each end and a crimp bead. Now you're going to carefully hold this and you're going to crimp these two beads to hold your bicone in place. And be careful you don't squish your bead because I think you'll bust it. Now you've done You've done this much so far. Continue doing this on both pieces. The only thing with the smaller piece is you're going to quit after you put your six millimeter bicones on. So the next one's going to be six millimeter bicones. I'll be back to show you that. Okay. I've got all of them strung on. But I wanted to show you, this is the bigger one. So this one gets an extra four millimeters. So you've got your, um, you've got your rondel down in the middle. You've got two four millimeters and you've got two six millimeters. And up here you're going to put two four millimeters. Now if you have a really small ankle, you might want to space these much closer together. Okay, so I'll see you back here when you get those done. Okay, so I have strung on on both of these all the beads that I needed. And this one as well. As you can see, there's the, the rondel four millimeter and then you've got six millimeter. Now what you're going to do is take your head pin, you're going to pick up your last rundown, like so, and your last four millimeter, like so. You could put spacer beads in here. I did put spacer beads in this one. I put three millimeter spacer beads in there, but you can put spacer beads or you can just leave it. You're going to take your round nose pliers like so, clasp them in there and down as far as the bead is and you're going to give it a bend. So you're going to bend it like so. Turn it up this way, fold it back over this way, so you have this. Okay. You're going to take your cutters, you're going to trim off about that much. And you have this. 
take your needle note or your round nose pliers, round it off, and join it like so. You've just made yourself a loop. This is going to hang off of your extender chain. So to open this, you're going to take your needle nose pliers, bend it towards you, put it on the M1 end of your extender chain, and you're going to close like so. And kind of straighten it up. Make sure it's nice and straight. And I like to give it a little extra pinch to make sure it's good and close that it's not going to fall off through the extender chain. So that piece is done. And I'll be back. Okay, we're back. Um, I was just fidgeting around here, um, getting these measurements properly. So what I did is I measured the bigger one around my ankle, but the smaller one is the one you want fitted around your ankle. So the one that's going to go up here, this one here, you want this one it, to be the one that fits around your ankle. Now you can make this a little bit smaller because because we're using this extender chain. And this extender chain is, you know, fairly long. It's a good two inch extender chain. In fact, I'll tell you how long it is. It's two inch. So it is a two inch extender chain. So you can make this thing even an inch shorter. It's not going to be a dilemma. Just watch that you don't make it too big that it just falls on top of your foot and sits there. So what I went ahead and did now is I measured this small one around my ankle and I pulled it a little bit tight and I ended up cutting both pieces to the length that I need. So this one's going to be the inside. The one with the less beads will be the one that's going to be around your ankle and this one is the one that's going to be on the outside. So I took them and I staggered the beads like so. As you can see they're not uh, they're not lined up but when it sits on your ankle if you put both of these the same way this these two will line up. These two big beads. Now the trick to putting this, oops, I gotta get a couple of more um, hemp beads because I wrecked those other two. So really hard to get crimp beads like that. Alright, I got my two crimp beads. Make sure when you put your crimp beads on, inside the crimp bead, both of these, this is on the outside, your outside one, this big one, and this small one's on the inside, the one that's going to go around your ankle. So when you slip on, first you're going to slip on your bead cap cover, this guy, which can be a little bit tricky to get both in there, and just let that fall. Now you're going to slip on your crimp bead, and you want to cut these off to the length that you need because you're only going to you're going to tie it off you're going to crimp it off right at the very tip. So there ain't going to be any extras. Look, well you'll have to trim it, but not you don't want these big strands hanging cuz then it's hard for you to um, measure it if you leave the the cord too long. So we're trying to get both pieces in this crimp bead at the same time and it's not going well for me. Come on, get in there. There we go. Okay, so I got the bead cap cover on. Crimp bead's actually sitting inside of it. But most importantly, make sure you check to make sure that it is not twisted. It's completely 
flat before you crimp that bead. Because once you crimp it, then you're going to have to cut it off. So I'm going to pull this up, make sure they're perfectly measured in the tip here. I'm going to pull my crimp bead up because I know it's lined up properly and I'm going to give it a squish right to the very end. And I'm going to give it an extra squish. Now, you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. This is where you want to be very careful that your, your line isn't twisted or crisscrossed over each other here. Make sure it's flat like that. So lay it out nice. And you're going to grab the both pieces together, making sure that it's still, you know, in your fingers that way. I ha you have to kind of put them together at the very tips in order to get the bead cap on it and the crimp bead. So I kind of got these twisted and I can see that. There we go. Straight again. So let's pick up the bead cap. Not too bad to get on. It's the bead cover or the crimp bead itself. So that's still flat. Perfect. Now to get the bead, crimp bead. <laughs> I never get it with just the first try, but I'll get it. And a little hair there. Oh. All right, got it. All right. So again, double check before you squish that bead, crimp bead. Make sure nothing is twisted. It's all. Perfect. I'm going to go up here and give it a squish and an extra squish. And now we can trim these off and make sure it's this bead is good and squished in there. So it you're, you're you put your bracelet, your ankle bracelet on, and this one end pulls out, and that's happened to me because I made my sister one. <laughs> she put it on, and it <laughs> I didn't crimp the bead tight enough, and one of the ends just pulled out. So believe me, it's not fun to. So this is what you've got so far. You see, you got your bead caps on the ends. So what you're going to do now is take your bead caps, and you're going to close them. Oh, I never trimmed this one. So you're going to take the cap, pull it up to the top where your bead is and hide the bead inside. Make sure the bead is kind of flat in that ball area. And then you're going to take your pliers and you're going to close it. So you're hiding the bead. Voila. Easy. And you're going to do the same on the other side. Take your bead cap and close it. All right, there's your, this is what it should look like. See? These will line up beautifully, like so. And everything's all nice and straight. So one on one end of your bead cap here, bead cover. I'm going to quit after you put your six minutes. Oops. And I don't know how to edit videos, so you're going to be stuck listening to that. So this one, I am going to open up my jump ring. And in order to, to open a jump ring, I always grab it with my round nose pliers on my left side. On my right side, like so, I pull it towards me. To open it. So there it is. It's opened. I'm going to pick up my lobster claw. Put my lobster claw on that. I put one end of my 
bracelet on that. Then I'm going to use the round nose pliers again and I'm going to close the jump ring. And sometimes I like to give the jump ring a little extra squish to make sure it's good and sealed closed. Good and closed. Then you're going to take your extender chain and you see they've got these links. You're going to take one link and you're going to open this link the exact same way you did with the jump ring. Hold it with your round nose, pull it towards you. You don't have to open it too much because these aren't very thick. And you're going to slide your other end on and you're going to close your link. And again, give it a little, very slight squish. Don't squish it too much or you'll squish it together. And there is your beautiful ankle bracelet to whatever length you want. So if you want it here, 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 it doesn't matter. It's going to fit good. And there you've made yourself a beautiful, elegant, and these sparkle. If you use Shravosky's crystals, these sparkle so much. They look so pretty. And this kind of, the, the clear, stretchy wire hides in, um, hides on your foot. You can't really see it unless you're up close. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this ankle bracelet tutorial. I'll be making another tutorial soon. And I hope to see you back. Subscribe to my Facebook channel. And, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. My Facebook will be linked to this. And in the description box, the supplies you need for this will be in the description box. Um, I did make a tutorial one. I uploaded it, watched it, and realized, oh my god. Because it's my very first video. <laughs> I combined the video as I paused it so I combined all of the segments and some of them were backwards so <laughs> I didn't put it in line right so I deleted that right away because that was a total disaster so I will redo that video so this is actually I did say at the beginning it was video number two because it was video number two um, it's now going to be my video number one and I will redo video um, one that I did yesterday and uploaded it so enjoy this bracelet subscribe to my channel so you can uh, see all the new projects that I have lined up for you guys and thank you for watching and if you um, make this in different colors or if you change it up a little bit I'd like to see your design so friend me on Facebook and have a nice day see you again bye